Hey Russell fam, in today's video we are going to do a flip through of Saxon Level 2. Be back in just a second. Hi, my name is Becky and welcome to our Russell's Loving Life YouTube channel. Here on this channel we talk about homeschooling, homemaking, and everything in between. I am a homeschooling mom of two and I have been homeschooling since 2012. We also have a blog which is russellslovinglife.com. Make sure to check that out. There I give you tips and tricks and things that I have learned through my years of homeschooling. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that little bell notification down at the bottom. That just lets you know every time we upload a new video. And if you are a returning Russell fam, we are so glad you are back. In today's video, I am going to show you a flip through of Saxon 2, level 2, second grade, whatever you want to call it. Um, this will be my sixth year teaching Saxon math. This will be my second year using Saxon second grade. Um, Bailey started using second grade. Um, we started using Saxon in his second grade, sorry. And we have been using it ever since. He is in seventh grade this year. So he is using the Saxon 8-7 pre-algebra, which I will be doing a flip through as well. So if you want to check that out, make sure you do that. But let's turn this camera around and let me show you. All right, Saxon math, level two, grade two, second grade, however you want to say it. It comes with a teacher's manual and it comes with two of these. There's a part one and a part two. And it also comes with flashcards that you tear apart. I've got some there and then I've got them here and what I did is I went ahead and I took part one like this book and I just go ahead and I rip out all of the worksheets and I just put them in this binder it makes life so much easier for me not trying to chase loose paper all over the place so let's put this back in here and I just leave this in here until I get to that point, and then I will tear out part two, just like I did part one. And I'm trying to get it where you can see it. Oh, sorry. This is your practice sheets. You can write your student's name if you're teaching more than one student. It just keeps up with their time, their assessments for their test in here. I do a grade book, so I don't keep up with this on here. There's your timesheets. And I have just found that is work, work, what works best for us is just to keep it in a grade book and instead of doing all of those, but that you may find those helpful if this is your first year. This is the oral assessments that you will do. Um, after 10 lessons, you will do an oral assessment as well as I think it's a test every five and then uh, oral every 10, unless I'm getting my years mixed up, but we'll look in just a second. Okay. So there's a bunch of oral assessments. And then there again, here's another way you can keep up with their oral assessments, written assessments, and fact sheets, one minute time tests. All right, so this is our lesson 2A math sheet. And A is the front side, B is the back side. And what I have learned over the years is it is what works best for us is if we master the front sheet and don't have any trouble with it, we don't do the back. But if we come across something that we're having trouble with, then we will do the back side of the sheet and that works best for us. And here's lesson three, lesson four, lesson five. Here is what the one minute time test look like. Lesson six, seven,
8, another time test, 9, and then 10. Okay, so it is every 10 lessons with this age group. I know it's every 5 for Bailey. So here is the assessment. It's just a front page on here and the oral assessment that you have to do. And sometimes they'll add the time test in there as well. So let's get to the teacher's manual. It's a big old book, sorry. All right, here is the table of contents. And it shows you each lesson and what page you're on and what you're covering that day. So there's the first 20 lessons. When they get older, you don't have this big old book to deal with. I think it goes away after fourth grade. I think third is the next. Whoop. Paper in there from when I taught Bailey. I'm trying to show you all these lessons. So if you have any questions about what's being taught in second grade. And if you're not sure which Saxon to use if your child is currently in school. Um, you can go by their grade level or you can just Google Saxon placement test and you can take it for free and then it'll recommend what curriculum you need to start with. All right, and so that was all of the lessons. It goes to 132 lessons. And then it tells you here all the materials that you're gonna need for the lessons if you wanna prepare by the week, by the day, however you want to do that. All right, lesson one is reading and identifying numbers. And it tells you things to do the night before. We don't really do the meeting book that it has with it. That's why I did not order one, but that is completely up to you. So this is where it's talking about the meeting. Your calendar work. We do the calendar work. I just don't do it in the book. And then everything that you see in black, bold, in quotes, that is what you say. Why do we use a calendar? And then the answer is over to the side. That is why I love Saxon when you're first starting out as a homeschooling parent. If you're not sure what to say, not sure what to do, they have the exact wordings of what you've got to say and what you've got to do for each lesson. So it was so helpful. It took a lot of stress off of me. So let's go into lesson two because I know there's a worksheet for that one. All right, here's lesson two with graph data on a graph. There again, we start out with our calendar stuff. You're asking these questions as you're going through. Then you're counting and then you get down into the lesson. And there again, today we will learn how to show information using a graph. And you flip over. See there, it tells you what to say. You say the answers. Very, very helpful. And then it gets to the written practice down here. And then there is your worksheets, answers front and back. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. And that was our flip to flip through of Saxon Math 2. I hope you found this flip through helpful and informative. If you have any questions, 
drop them down in the comments and I will be happy to answer any question that I can. As always, remember to be kind, be careful, be considerate, and have a great day. Bye.